Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Jess. So it looks like on the short time frame charts that the recent Bitcoin correction is over, right? We've seen the price correct back up to $62,000 from a low of $60,000. However, we are not out of the woods just yet. In fact, the next two days of Bitcoin price action are really crucial with the upcoming weekly candle close. So let's dive into today's video to talk about what exactly we need to see Bitcoin's price action execute on both the short time frame and high time frame charts to facilitate continued bullish rallying. And conversely, the key levels that we need to note to suggest a failed bullish reversal here and a potential incoming correction. Before we get into all that though, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to get regular Bitcoin analysis every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. If you're after even more content, be sure to check out my free telegram. And if you're looking for more details on my VIP channel, you can get those over here. VIP gives you exclusive access to my personal trading setups with exact entry points, targets, and stop losses. <music> Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and talk about what's happened with Bitcoin in the last 24 hours. So if you guys have been following with, you know, the recent price action at all on Bitcoin, you would know that earlier last week, we ended up losing our monthly uptrend over here, resulting in quite a um, large drop here from $65,000 or $66,000 all the way down to sixty dollars It was a pretty huge liquidation event, one of the largest we've seen in the last two or three months. And ever since then, though, we have bottomed out at sixty dollars and found support upon this bottom level over here to bounce all the way up to $62,000. Now, in my last video, I did talk about how we really need to be watching out for the price actions re uh, reaction or how we were kind of interacting with this lower level of support here at 60 to 62, 60.2 thousand. And we developed a short time frame descending wedge or aka a bullish reversal pattern, ended up breaking out yesterday afternoon to retest this next key level of resistance here at 62,200. You can see it on Smart Money Index, uh, Smart Money Concepts, and also just these two prior range low wicks there on the hourly time frame. So this little bounce has been really, really good for Bitcoin. On the daily chart, for example, we can see that the bounce has led to, I guess, a confirmation that we have established support here on that mid line of our macro descending channel, which was really, really key because falling below there, we had a very high probability then of getting a range low retest as we have seen historically over and over again. However, while the bounce has been really good, right, um, and has prevented, you know, a short time frame continued bearish move, the problem is the upcoming weekly candle close. So if we take a look at the weekly chart and our upcoming weekly candle close, we can see that yes, we are two days away from that close, but currently Bitcoin is forming a bearish engulfing candle here on the weekly time frame. And a bearish engulfing candle is, as you guys can probably guess from the name, bearish, but it essentially tells us that the closing price for the most recent candle has engulfed or overpassed the opening price for the prior bullish candle over here. So that tells us that in the week following this one, if we do end up closing this candle here, we have a high probability of seeing another red candlestick as opposed to a green reversal over here on the weekly time frame. And if we take a look at the last six months of price action, a bearish engulfing candle has followed the prior three range high retests or, or um, rejections that we've seen as we approach the resistances within this upper half of our macro descending channel structure. If we take a look over here in July or sorry, June, range high retest, followed immediately by a bearish engulfing candle, leading to a rejection and then a range low retest. Once again, over here in July, we had a bullish rally, a death star doji candle, followed by a bearish engulfing candle, uh, surpassing the prior opening price of that bullish one over here at 60,900, leading to a range low retest all the way down at 49,000. And then once again, over here in August, when we had a failed bullish continuation to the range high over here, rejecting of 65K, it was another print, oopsies, of a bearish engulfing candle here on the weekly time frame, leading to that range low rejection. So a bearish engulfing candle is naturally going to not be a really good sign. And it tells us that despite the, I guess, short time frame bullish rallying that we've seen here, you know, over the short time frame charts on the daily time frame, bouncing up from $60,000, it has not been enough yet to translate into the macro charts and suggest a high probability of falling lower and getting another red weekly candle. 
Now, the reason why we really want to prevent that happening this particular time round is because the dangers of us approaching a range low retest in this particular segment of price action has much higher bearish consequences as opposed to the prior range low retest that we've seen here. Now, the reason for that is because if we take a look at the way that the Ichimoku lays over our macro descending channel structure, the Ichimoku cloud, the leading span A, has historically acted as a level of support. We can see that over here most recently and falling below the leading span A, we generally have a high probability to move into retest that leading span B over here. Now, the leading span B is the most crucial level of support that we have here because falling below that, we have a very high probability then of in falling, you know, in, in losing that level of support, entering a macro bear market. We've seen it time and time again on the macro price action of Bitcoin. If we go over to BLX for a moment, this is 2020, uh, 2014, sorry, my goodness, so long ago. 2014, falling below leading span B, we entered a period of 252 days of downwards price action. Over here in 2020, uh, 2018, Again, falling below leading span B, we had 217 days of bearish price action. And once again, over here in 2022, right, falling below that leading span B, another extended period of 259 days of bearish price action. It generally does provide confirmation on the weekly time frame that we are entering a bear market. So preventing that range low retest and entering that Ichimoku cloud this time around is exceptionally important. And the key goal that we have here on the short time frame is a close on the weekly chart above um, $65,000 at prior opening price. So obviously, I'm not saying that if we do get a bearish engulfing candle, we are going to lose $49,000 and enter a bear market. That is absolutely not what I'm saying at all. I'm simply saying that the probabilities of then getting another red candle and potentially testing that leading spend A is higher, right? Wherein if we lose that as a base of support, things start to tumble um, in that more bearish sort of analysis and things start to look a little bit more grim in terms of, you know, seeing that breakout over here. Right, so that is the key goal here. Now let's move over onto the shorter time frame charts and talk about what we need to see there to facilitate that weekly candle close. Before we get into the rest of the video, guys, let's hear a quick word from our sponsor, BitUnex, where you can get 15% off all of your trading fees and up to 5,500 US dollars in sign up rewards when you create your free account using the link down in my description box. BitUnex is an emerging cryptocurrency exchange committed to providing you with a secure, convenient, and highly functional trading and investment platform. Available across all countries as a non-KYC exchange, get global access to over 150 trading pairs with minimal fees on both spot and futures contracts. Join today to get $5,500 US dollars in sign up rewards and get 15% off all of your trading fees by signing up using the link in my bio or by using the code 1GG3 when you create your account. Okay, so moving into the hourly chart, let's talk about what we need to see here on the short time frame to facilitate a bullish rally um, that takes Bitcoin back above the opening price for the prior weekly candle close. So that opening price is just to reiterate at $63,500. Now it perfectly aligns with our 200 SMA as well here on the hourly chart. So if you guys want some sort of visual indicator, I guess that 200 SMA is perfect. Clearing above that, it's very likely that we see a bullish continuation anyway. And so we have confirmation here on the short time frame and on the weekly chart that Bitcoin should be going back upwards and this this correction is genuinely over. So on the very short time frame, our current key level of resistance that we need to clear to even get to this level is this one over here, this gray box. And it starts at 62,300 and ends at 62,800. We know it's a level of resistance if we take a look at the prior wicks to the low, testing it as a base of support back here on the hourly chart, as well as if we take a look at our recent downtrend. So this is the downtrend that characterized that entire recent move downwards. And when we break out of downtrends, in order to actually, actually, sorry, actually confirm that we are going to see a proper bullish reversal that, you know, is strong enough to break above, potentially break above these prior highs here is to see um, a clearance not only of the structural trend line itself, but also the horizontal levels that coincide with the prior highs within that downtrend. So the very first prior high that we have here in that downtrend is right over here at 62,300. So when we break above that level, we are confirming that for the first time within this segment of price action, Bitcoin's charts are finally printing higher highs for you know, the first time, right? Prior to this, we were only printing lower highs, suggesting that the 
bears or these sellers had control of the narrative. So in printing that high high over here, we're reversing that narrative and we're establishing support at that prior level of resistance, right? So resistance to support flip. Now in establishing 62.8 as a base of support over here, we can expect then a bullish continuation to test the prior high within that downtrend, also taking us above the 200 SMA and the prior opening price for the weekly candle close. Now, if we establish 62, sorry, not 62, 64,000, this next high here um, as a base of support, that is when I would say that it is very, very likely that in establishing this as a base of support, we can expect continued bullish rallying or a, a bullish continuation. Um, and that safely confirms that the weekly candle is very likely to then be above that opening price. We're gonna be able to sustain that move upwards, if you will. So on the short time frame, those are the key things to be looking for in terms of a bullish continuation. Now we are in a little bit of an uptrend over here established from that low retest down here at 59,800. Um, and we currently have three points of confirmation on that uptrend. So it doesn't look amazing right now, guys. We are rejecting from that level of resistance. And if we pull up the RSI, we have kind of dipped below that corresponding uptrend here on the RSI. So we might be in for a little bit of a correction or at least to retest the trend line before our bullish rally here. But none of that really matters until we really clear above this level of resistance. If we end up falling below our uptrend, our first level of support is down here at the prior low within that uptrend at at 61,200. We can see that once again using that smart money indicator over here, this green dotted trend line. And falling below that is when we go on to retest the prior low, or I guess the range low in our uptrend being our base of support down here at 59 to $60,000. If we move over onto the four hour time frame, we can see that Bitcoin will essentially move down into this range of support down here, right? Wherein we might go on to fill a little bit of that volume gap right there at 59,600, which is also equivalently that low wick there um, in the bottom of our uptrend. And that base of support ends at $59,200. Now that also takes us below our um, midline here on the daily structure. So if we do end up getting a daily candle close within those lower regions of support down here, that is our very first warning sign that potentially Bitcoin is failing to, um, I guess, gain enough strength here from the short time frame rally. And it is more likely than that we see a little bit more of a short time frame correction rather than a bounce, simply because on the daily time frame, losing that midline has historically represented quite a bearish sign for us. So if we do end up getting a bearish continuation there, the next base of support is down here to test the prior low in our recently lost uptrend, the one that led to that rejection there down at 57,000. So all of that would naturally place Bitcoin in that bearish engulfing candle there on the weekly time frame and suggest that the week following this one is likely to then be another red candle. Alrighty guys, that is all the analysis that I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video or you learned something, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're after even more content, be sure to check out my free telegram for daily updates as well as crypto and economic news. And if you're interested in my VIP channel, you can get more details over here. VIP gives you exclusive access to my personal trading setups with exact entry points, targets, and stop losses. And if you are a trader, don't forget to sign up down below to bit you next to get 15% off all of your trading fees. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.